guys, time for another Fairmount update. So, you'll notice that we've made a little bit of progress this week. Um, the radiator is um, partially mounted. We got the lower mounts in, and the intercooler has two mounts. And the um, core support will be getting notched, and then the tube will go into the throttle body, of course. Um, you'll also notice my caster camber plates. Um, no, no good bolt-on kit comes without some custom fabrication, so um, had to make a spacer. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but... Yeah, that little spacer there at the top, right there in the center, I had to make that to um, adapt to the stock um, shock. And then I bought a UPR um, coilover conversion kit. Um, I've only done the one side so far. Wow, that's bright. All right, we're back. Um, <laughs> and so... Yeah, that's that's where that is. Exhaust is pretty much where we left you last time. Um, so, the next thing is uh, my dad has started to um, work on the rear, so we cut the brackets. Um, so, yeah, I guess I should talk about... <laughs> um, we're not going to go with the 35 spline axle rear with the gun-drilled axles. Because um, it's super narrow, I'm going to have to get some like one-off wheels and um, it just isn't going to work out. Um, so we have another set of axles that are much wider, more conventional. It's going to come out to pretty close to the stock width, um, maybe like an inch or two narrower. Um, so that'll, that'll really open up the wheel selection. But, you'll notice that, um, one, <laughs> there's plenty of room for brakes, so that's a huge change. And also, uh, my dad cut off the original brackets off the original rear and sandblasted them, and um, I welded them on. Um, and then also, we are going with a... Uh, Obviously, we have to keep the tr stock triangulated four, four link, but we're going to go to um, heim joints and um, that sort of thing on the uppers. Um, basically, um, also allowing some adjustment there. And uh, I, I'm not really a big fan of the stock um, style upper mounts just because they're. I don't know, they're just, they just look kind of ugly. <laughs> um, but not that that's a good reason. I don't know. They just don't seem very um, robust. Um, but anyways, um, so that's progressing along pretty good. Um, the cage has not been started yet keep saying next week next week next week well <laughs> it'll happen eventually um, we got all the material for it so should be able to start it very soon um, we still have the other axle back here but that'll be coming out soon um, we pop the gas tank out um, so that we can start figuring out where we're gonna put fuel pumps and that sort of thing um, so it's it's just you know slow but steady um, another update um, I figured out what I'm gonna do for my initial uh, engine setup so um, you'll notice these adapter plates those were on the Nova because we were adapting the LSA supercharger to cathedral port heads and we recently took that engine out and uh, put the six liter in its place. 
So for the initial um, engine setup on the Fairmont, we're basically just going to take that engine and stick it into the Fairmont. So we're going to go with a uh, 5.3 and uh, uh, we'll swap the sloppy stage 2 cam into it and probably going to change out the push rods maybe, go to pack 12.18s, you know, the typical sloppy thing. Um, and it has truck heads. You'll notice the ports have been cleaned up quite a bit. We have a buddy that um, owns an engine shop and he did those up for us. Um, so it'll be interesting to see where it flows. And uh, gonna try and um, actually do something with crankcase pressure. Um, so hence this oil cap that goes to an A and fitting, it'll be um, gonna try and make a decent catch can and because um, why would you buy one? Because I have a welder. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, get this covered back up so it doesn't get all dirty. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's basically where we're at. We're making progress and hoping to have occasion it pretty soon here. So, uh, I'll keep you posted. All right, catch you guys in the next one.